I respected people in my small town were, were police officers. You know, it was that kind of town. Yeah. One big reason why you're seeing what you're seeing in your profession is uh, the, the political class in Washington really has it out for uh, the men and women who, who wear the uniform who protect us every day. It's a job that they would definitely would not do themselves. I, I introduced a, a bill to codify qualified immunity, and the FOP was really yeah. important help us, helping us draft it, right. showing support for it, and I, I, I greatly appreciate that. I didn't know a whole lot about qualified immunity, but they made the point. They said, uh, Sheriff Newton and and uh, state troopers said, if if one political party uh, can take away our qualified immunity, why can't you pass a law to protect it? That oftentimes the knee-jerk reaction isn't the most prudent reaction. And uh, now we have a chance, I think, to do the right thing and show support for law enforcement. The bail project. You know, you got these left-wing groups that are paying bail for criminals and letting them back out to commit more crimes let's let's put a stop to it let's, actually if you explain to almost anybody what qualified immunity is they would support it the qualified immunity protects our law enforcement officers and it protects them from frivolous lawsuits so um, it, and it, it empowers them to go out and do the job that we all uh, hope and expect that they will do to keep us safe and when you, when you explain that to the average normal person, no matter what their political persuasion is, they will support qualified immunity. I, I find that to be the case. That's a dangerous notion that we have to explain to the public that if you take away qualified immunity, it means our communities are going to be a lot less safe. I'm a leader, I'm a member of Congress, and it's my job to do everything that I can to make sure that we support our law enforcement officers. And that I want every man and woman who wears the uniform uh, the, and, and wears the blue to know that I've got their back, that as their congressman, I'm, I'm doing my part to show support. Be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere else you get your podcasts. To get the latest from the National FOP, make sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at GLFOP and on Instagram at FOP National. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.